friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with I Like Team. Now, today, EDM Lover Gamers Forever. What's good? Now, pretend that was like G Fuel or something. Um, anyways, Forevers, we're back. And EDM Lover, the Fat Rat Game, what, whoever's watching this, I don't know who's watching this. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be checking out Ghost Light by the Fat Rat and Everglow. Um, yes, Everglow is finally back with music. It has been like, how long? Like, <laughs> December was when Pirate came out, and all forever, so we've been going through it. We don't, we haven't know what the future is going to be. We know all this, all this, this, and the whatever. We finally got new Everglow music. Not only that, we got a fat rat collab. So, now I'm going to talk about that. The fat rat is one of my favorite, like, EDM artists. He's been one of my favorite EDM artists for quite a long time, and him and gamers are like intertwined we're like friends and whatnot uh we basically love his music and he shows a lot of love back to the gaming community and yeah y'all probably already knew that if you're a fat rat fan my name's the fat rat and the song you just heard is from my dota 2 music pack called warrior song it's such an honor to be with you here today once more are you ready for and the make some noise The Fat Rat also put K-pop down in the corner of his thumbnail, which I thought was funny because he has worked with Alexa before. Dragons at the gate, they won't stop us getting to the top. Whoa, oh, flying into space like a rocket, never giving up, no, we'll never give up. Yeah. And now he's working with Everglow, and I'm just excited to hear this. So we're going to get into it. Today we have the Fat Rat and Everglow's Ghost Light. Now, I will say, I'm pretty sure this is just OT5 um, Everglow, because the teaser picture they posted of them in the studio, Eden wasn't a part of the picture. And I know a lot of us, including me, were terrified for, like, quite a... I'm still not, like, 100%, like, settled uh, in, like comfortable again but Eden is back from China and she is back in Korea that's about all we know so far but she wasn't here when they recorded this so I'm pretty sure this is just OT5 Everglow other than that I'm not sure what we're gonna get I hope it's amazing and uh yeah I wish I had a light stick but you know Everglow they just they didn't announce one yet they're probably I don't know I just, there's a lot of things I hope for but most importantly I'm excited for here to hear the production on this song. The Fat Rat is a really good producer, obviously. And so I want to hear how this goes. Uh, if it's anything similar to his most recent stuff, or even like his last song he did with Alexa, then we'll be hearing a lot of like chanty type vocals with, I don't know, mellower drops. But then again, a few years ago, he put out Stronger, which was nothing near mellow. So I'm not sure. Oh, that, that sprite is not sitting well with my system. I do... <laughs> Like, I'm excited, forevers. I hope y'all are excited. So, we're gonna get into this, but before we do, I need y'all to make sure that you like the official and original video on the Fat Rat's official channel. Subscribe while you're there. Get him to, like, I don't know, 6.5 million subscribers, and run this up for the Fat Rat, and especially for Everglow. I love both of them, and so I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe, support this, and watch this video, stream it for them. Now, you don't have to like or subscribe to my video, though I would appreciate it, friends. I am trying to grow my channel one friend at a time, so if any of you out there happen to be forevers, or just Fat Rat fans, and you want to subscribe, Subscribe and support me. I'd appreciate it a lot. I also have some more Everglow content that I'm going to be posting over on Patreon in the future, as well as any time that the Fat Rat collaborates with like K-pop artists, I'm going to check it out. As I am a predominantly K-pop centered channel here, but I do listen to some other types of music, mainly EDM, and he is one of my favorite artists. So we're here. We're going to catch these vibes today, and we are now going to get into it. This is the Fat Rat and Everglow's Ghost Light. Uh, I, I'm kind of scared. Do I? I don't really need qu whatever. We're gonna keep it in 4K. Four the fat rat for no reason. Three, two, one. Click play. Is that she young? This sounds about like the fat rat. Oh, melody. There's a horn.
This is different. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm pretty sure I prefer the verses so far to the first drop we got. But I'm I'm going to keep listening. But these verses are like really good. Like hello, the like harmonies in the background and I don't I don't know, it just sounds very fat rat to me. I'm not sure. I, I don't know, I'm just vibing. Ding. The coin flick. Melody driven music, yet again, by the fat man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I paused it right on the drop, and that was gonna be fire. But hold on, did I recognize that? I want to hear this for the time though. Let me let me turn it up a tiny bit more. I want to vibe. Different to have an outro with more amazing vocals. Okay, well, <laughs> that part went hard. Catch me at like a rave vibing. And then this part right here, the dum dum dum, sounded very Everglow, maybe even like early Everglow. Uh, Catch me if you can. Come and get me. The percussion sounds so good here. Again with like the xylophony almost sound the echoey reverby sounds, I love the sound. Oh, I like them. It ends on that major. Wait, hold up. Okay, 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 okay. That, yes. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, I liked that quite, quite, quite a lot. Um. I feel like still. This isn't my favorite The Fat Rat song, if I'm being honest, nor is it my favorite Everglow song, but it's still a really good song. Like, uh, he does this thing a lot where he has vocals that are very, 
I don't know how to put it. All his vocals on, a, not all, a lot of the vocals on his song sound like this. Very like people up like floating in their, in their floater voice. They're like high up there and it's just tons of reverb and it's just very beautiful melodies. He focuses a lot on melodies in his music. And so then there's a lot of melodies happening. There's like a xylophone maybe kind of type sound happening a lot throughout the song. Uh, maybe even glockenspiel, something like that. One of those type of instruments that plays a lot with like a melody, a very reverbed out. And then you've got like, I don't know, just like cool like synths and strings playing over that. But then as we built up to the drop, the drop had like a horn. Have I ever really had a horn focus to drop from him that I can remember? I can't, but may look, maybe there has been. I just can't remember it. But Either way, the drop still was good. It's just not my favorite drop from him. Um, nor my favorite drop from like Everglow for that matter. So I was vibing. But the drop towards the latter half when they remixed it again, that part was going hard. <laughs> and then the outro bit was very beautiful. And the percussion on the outro bit sounded very like interesting and cool. And he used a nice like snare, a nice hi-hat sound. I was vibing. So that's going to do it for my reaction. <laughs> Friends, forever's gamers, whoever's watching this, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give me a like. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'd appreciate it a lot. It helps me more than you know. Let's talk in the comments. What do you think of this? Y'all let me know. What do y'all think of the line distribution? Because I was trying to pick apart whose voice was whose, but I was also really focused on the like the instrumental and just how the composition was going because the fat rat was producing it and I wanted to pay attention to that. So it's not just like your average Everglow song where I don't know all the producers and it still goes hard, but it's not like... You know what I mean? So I was really paying attention because I do like him musically. And so I, I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't pay attention to who was always singing. I was listening more so to the melodies. I wasn't even paying that much attention to the lyrics. So that'll happen in my second, third, fourth, fifth listens. I'm going to go listen to this again. Obviously edit this, get it up for y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of that down below. Um, I'm excited for an Everglow comeback. I'm expecting the company to announce that within like the next, uh, but honestly, if they haven't announced a comeback by February, that's when I'll start getting extremely worried. But in t and I know some of y'all are like, February is four months away, three and a half months away. I know that is three and a half months away, but right now I'm just going to say I'm chilling. I'm not that worried. Look, they're all back in Korea now, so now is the time when they can start practicing for a comeback, start preparing for a comeback, start learning choreos, recording songs. Y'all get how this works. So, but if three and a half months go by and they still haven't announced anything, that's when it starts getting us. So, until then, we're, I'm just going to keep holding out. Everything's going to be fine. And then with the Fat Rat, it's just, hey, thanks for the song, bro. Killed it. So, <laughs> friends, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, like I said, give me a like, and I'm gonna get out of here now, so I hope you, yes you, have a good day, morning, or night, whatever time it is for you, and wherever you are in the world, and with that being said, peace, stay in Everglow, listen to the fat rat, goodbye! <laughs>